Well, I had a viewer ask me about the CTCSS Tone setup in the Anytone Quad 6. So here is the Anytone AT6666. And we're going to set up the memory channel and activate the CTCSS Tones on those memory channels. So let's go ahead and do that now. Well, the first thing you want to do is, and this is for 10 meter repeaters, but you can uh, also make this applicable for any other frequency you want to use, say you want to do private communications and just uh, have um, somewhat of a private channel. So this will be the same setup, uh, but we'll just go over setting up the two meter repeater. So you see, we're just in a random frequency here. We're going to go ahead and dial it in. Now it's FM is going to be our mode for 10 meter repeater. So make sure we have that on there. Now, the second thing we're going to do is hit uh, our frequency and we're going to put in our repeater output frequency and this I am going through just showing you how you basically have to go through all the different little options here. Um, so now we have 29660 and now we're going to set up and we're in FM so we're going to set up our tone. So we're going to hit menu F and hit the button there. That's our busy that's our repeater. Yes, we do have repeaters, and that's going to be on the negative offset. And uh, now we're going to go to the tone squelch. Now, this is where the CTS, and you can also do digital as well. And when you press CTS, you'll just see it just has numbers. Yet, it does correspond with the CTCSS uh, frequency in hertz. I'll put a link or a list down below of those um, what the numbers mean as far as the frequency and hertz for your repeater. But yep, I waited too long. So let's go back into the busy. Repeater's already in, enabled here. So we're going to do tone squall, CTCSS uh, 17, which is 118. Let's just do, uh, just to make it easy, let's do 18, which is 1230. And uh, we'll hit that. And we'll go back. Now we have everything enabled in the way we want it to be. And we're just going to test that real quick with our key up of the mic. We'll see that drop down. Yep. So that is set as repeaters. Now we're just going to add that to a memory channel. Do that. Hold that memory. A blank memory one. And you can scroll through the different memories. Now there is six memories here, but basically you can take any of the banks. I usually sometimes take bank 40 uh, on J on J, which is way up there. But um, so what we basically do, we let it time out again. Memory's blinking, and we'll hold it if that's where we want M1. Now that's enabled and installed there. So now if we hit memory, we can go back to our memory frequencies. Now it'll say M1, and you hit frequency, it'll tell you what it is. So that is memory one. I already have two just uh, set up temporarily. That is memory two, which is AM 27185. It will save the mode and everything you're using on it. And we have another one. If we put in our frequency memory three and we hit that, we have our frequency, which is lower sideband 27385. So that's basically how you do that. Um, yeah, you've got to go through a couple of different steps. Yes, you have to hit the menu button, but once you're all set up, it has the repeater put in, uh, letting you know that repeater is there and CTCSS is enabled for that button feature. So I'll leave those um, frequency and hertz down below, but yeah, you can also use the software if you have a striker uh, programming cable will work just fine for this. You can download the software for free for any tone and program it yourself and really see what you can do with the radio with the programming. Um, so yeah, if you have to buy a programming cable, you can go to the Striker website. You can also buy the CTCSS tone board there as well. So uh, that's the easiest way to go about uh, showing it um, because yeah, you got to go through a couple button presses. I hope it helps. We'll see you in the next one. 73, Eric Texos. We'll see you in the next.